For more free African history resources, please go directly to our website or click the links below. The Kikuyu People, Part 2 And so, the Kikuyu developed an extensive religious system. The Kikuyu are monotheists, believing in an omnipotent creator or one god. The name that the Kikuyu use for the one god is Ngai. Ngai is the supreme creator and giver of all things. He created the first Kikuyu communities and provided them with all the resources necessary for life, including but not limited to land, rain, plants, and animals. Ngai cannot be seen, but is manifested in the sun, moon, stars, comets, meteors, thunder, lightning, rain, rainbows, and in the great fig trees, also known as Mogumu. All sacrifices to Ngai were performed under a sycamore tree, Mukuyu, and if one was not available, a fig tree, Mugumu, would be used. The olive tree, Mutamayu, was a sacred tree for women. God, or Ngai, has human characteristics. Kikuyu lore also says that Ngai comes to earth from time to time to inspect it, bestow blessings, and mete out punishment to evil ones. When he comes, Ngai rests on Mount Kenya, also known as Kiranyaga. Thunder is interpreted to be the movement of Ngai, and lightning is the weapon used by Ngai to clear the way when moving from one sacred place to another. Some people believe that Ngai's abode is on Mount Kenya. In one legend, Ngai made the mountain his resting place while on an inspection tour of Earth. Ngai then took the first man, Gakuyu, to the top to point out the beauty of the land he was giving him. The Kikuyu believe in the interconnection of everything in the universe. To the Kikuyu, everything we see on the physical plane has an inner spiritual force. This spiritual vital force originated from God, who had the power to create or destroy that same life force. To the Kikuyu people, Ngai, or God, is the supreme being in the universe and the giver of this life force to everything that exists. The Kikuyu people also believe that everything God created had a vital inner force and a connection bond to him by the mere fact that he created that thing and gave it that inner force that makes it be and be manifested physically. There are a number of key principles central to the Kikuyu spiritual system. One, the universe is composed of interacting and interconnected forces whose manifestation is the physical things we see, including ourselves, and those we don't see, such as energy and spirit beings. Two, all those forces, things, in the universe came from God who, from the beginning of time, has had the vital divine force of creation within himself. Three, Everything created by God retains a bond from God, the Creator, to the created. 4. The first humans who were created by God have the strongest vital force because they received it directly from God. 5. All the other things, forces, on earth were created to enable the human vital force to become stronger. 6. There are human beings who have more knowledge of these forces and can manipulate them at will. Sometimes they also invoke higher forces to assist. 7. The human society has some few elite people very skilled in the art of manipulating forces to strengthen a human force or diminish it. The Kikuyu people are still present in Kenya and Eastern Africa to this day.